Welcome back, guys, to another episode. What are you doing? You will have to pack her up and leave as you can't camp here tonight. Found any yet, hunter gatherer? No. I'm on the hunt for some firewood, baby. <coughs> trying to have a fire because we'll have fires. Got me navigator. Wood buddy. There's just uh, one problem. What? It's empty. It's empty. So I reckon we just go in the back there. Now look, I am one to worry about. I am one to worry about snakes. So look, we're not gonna do too silly, but I have noticed the other campers around camp have managed to find some wood, so let's go. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to find any wood. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> so I've noticed the reason why Sue doesn't get flies around her ears is because of her hair. But I don't have long hair, so I've put my wood carry over my head and it's working. Look, it's <laughs> working. Sun safe. Oh. So guys, we've had a look over here for some wood. And there's, there's yeah. No Barren fallen, land. No fallen trees or anything, but I thought I'll show you. So we're on the, um, is this the south side? The yeah? south side. What is the joint called? I can't remember, we'll have to drop it in. Yeah, I'll drop it in on the screen where we're at, but we're on the south side, there's also a north side. It's all along the Murchison River here. Now you've got two dunny blocks here, and I don't know what's going on, but there are three dump points. One says black water disposal, the other just got two dump, sign, dump point signs next to it. Two, and I believe there's a dump point on the north side as well. That's a lot of dump. I mean, Wow, like good facilities. Good facilities. Look, the toilets do have a bit of a smell coming from them. There's a bit not, of a pong coming lighting. from there. Um, also, <laughs> you've got um, like these concrete picnic tables here. So if you didn't have sort of like you wanted to sit outside and eat, plenty of them around. We're just parked up over here, so we'll show you in a minute. Pretty excited about this joint. Um, huge area. Look at this behind the toilet. The dunnies here. Like, like this is massive area. Look, the flies are bad, but that is WA, and I think it's because it's quite dry. But I think as soon as we can get a fire started, I think it might actually push the flies off. But come on, we've got to get this fire going. So we're just coming down to the waterfront for a sneaky little cold bevy. It's like, it's like having a 10 million dollar house. I've just come down my garden. Yeah. And look at this. And if I turn you around, there's my chair already set up yes. with my bevy. Where's your bevy. And that will oh, be the view. Bevy. Where's my bevy? I didn't get you a bevy. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Of course I got you a bevy. Look at that. Oh boy. Straight down. Hey. Straight down into it. Are you right? What do you say? It doesn't take much for your bum to find the chair. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a bit of trees, but it still gives you such a nice... It wouldn't just die down. It's just a breeze. The flies seem to have a lot found me. And I'm just going to sit here and relax. And then I'm going to go out and lock the fire. I'm not going to have the fire down here. Because I just thought, well, we're right over there. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Just have the fire up there. We cook some. What are we cooking on there tonight? Steak for a change. I'm doing a veggie dish on the fire, so prepare yourself. Okay, so we might need more wood. <laughs> that's all right. I mean, if that's all I have to do, it's not. It's, life's still good, you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna have to go and fetch the Frenchie because he's screaming at me from the caravan. Oh. Time of day, yeah, time to get the fire what a, started. What a beautiful sunset, hey? It has been, oh, man, the, the weather, weather has been superb. 
when the wind doesn't blow, it's great. Okay, so what we're going to do, Bobby, sorry mate, you start the fire. Your stick's going on, mate. Right. Oh, no. Bobby, stay away. Bobby, stay away, mate. What I want to do is get some of this, some of this gear on. Yes. Here we go. A couple of these little twigs here. There we go. Yes. Look at this. And can I just say, if I move over here, yeah. Just look at that view behind you. I oh, know. Just oh, the mosquitoes are out, but put some spray on. That's what mosquito spray is for. Yes. So that's the view for the we evening. Some of that. Ready made campfire. What you gonna do? So what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna take use the ziggy plate, I'll put it across here or across there, and then we'll just push those coals under. We're gonna turn a few steaks on here. What Beautiful. are you going to do about the potatoes? Are we going to chuck them on tin foil or what? Yeah, tin foil tin in foil the fire. Potato. Oh, mate, you couldn't. That's camping 101. I've got two eggplants. Those are massive. Aubergines, that's what we call them. Um, and what I've done, I've just sliced them either way and outlined them. Anyway, and what, that's then... going to go in tin foil. So Cause... essentially, I cut out this bottom bit, yeah? Yeah. See, look at this. I'll take all these chunks out. Yeah, what do you do with the chunks? And then I just cook them up with some garlic, some herbs. You can chuck in a little bit of um, capsicum or alternatively mushrooms, anything you want for the filling and flavours. And then I cook that in the fire with it stuffed back Ooh, in. Ooh, I must say. It's like a stuffed eggplant. Oh, I'll Ooh. be giving that a skip. I'll tell you what, Bobby, what are you up to, mate? Bob, what are you up to, bro? What are you up to? Eh? Don't knock me beer over. Don't have many. Just found out me um, upright fridge in the car is not working. So no cold beer. It's not room temperature, but um, yeah, compressor's not kicking on. But the lights are working, so... I don't know, and we're in the middle of nowhere, so I bet they're going to want me to send it away t to test it. But we can't really afford that because, you know, we live full time on the road and we use this fridge. So, yeah, anyway, these things happen, I suppose. Look at this, baby. Fire. Views. In the coals ready for my or your potatoes, my yes. eggplant. Got a bit going on here. Okay, this is your moment. This is um, my moment. And I tell you, it's funny, as soon as that sun went down, that wind picked up. It's got a little bit cold, but it's okay. Look at this. It's not about, what do they say? It's not about quantity, it's about quality. Oh, it's a fair quantity, oh, look. All right, Those the metal Put a bit of spice on there. Hang on a minute. Hope he runs for his spice. Yeah, so secret that, spice. Secret spice, South African spice. I hope oh. it focuses. Worcestershire. Yes. Almost dropped that. Look at that. Put bulk on. Bulk. <laughs> Steric's favourite word. New word, bulk. Jason, if you're watching, I picked it up from here. Yeah, thanks, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, we go. Four minutes, four minutes, eh? That's, the steak should be done. past us here and some funny noises coming out of the um, trees. Well, I hope it was a feral cat. I Maybe hope gave me a heart too. attack. I hope so. I don't do too bad on the old grill. Check this out. Um, Tata's a little bit burnt, but you know, there's always room for improvement, I'll say. 
have a go at that. Sue? Yeah? No? I don't do bad on the old grill. No, you don't. But you Little don't mind. Stuffed eggplant thingy. Yep. Oh, that is true. Yes, look at that. Steak, stuffed eggplant, just with the eggplant, bit of tomato, bit of garlic, herbs and spices, and then it's got sun dried tomatoes, olives, feta, and jalapenos on top. <laughs> well, I'm going to tuck into that because I'm starving. Because we keep going north tomorrow, baby! Alright, good morning, guys. Absolute great evening here at this um, rest stop. 24 hour rest stop, it's free. Here we go, we started the car, get the all the oils nice and warm. Sue's just finished up inside. It is around about half past nine now, and I'm sure we'll get going in about 15 minutes. Not quite sure where we're going, we're just cruising. We don't want to get to Shark Bay or Coral Bay too, too early. We believe Denmark is pretty busy, so we've booked nothing. So I think today we're gonna to do about an hour, hour and a half north. And then once we get somewhere, we pull over, I'll start looking about where we're going to go up in Coral Bay, around Denham, etc, etc. Well, okay. We are a few hours later and we have to turn off to Shark Bay. Here we are, Shark Bay. So apparently that's Shark Bay Road, just in front of us. Turn left, I thought I'd just stop and have a quick, quick look. Now, ugh. We can't do too much of um, the, un the useless loop, etc. Is it the dog? So we're going to be. So, oh, here we are. You are here. Going to go down 41k, then going to go up, sort of up towards Denham. We have not booked a thing, so I'm hoping we get a spot. Now, also, some of these photos on the board is really making me excited. Look the sunsets, Shell Beach or something. Oh, look, some cliffs. Look at the colour. That must be a sort of like monkey meal or denim, I'm not sure, I've never been there. Oh look. But um, yeah guys, pretty excited to be here. Um, what's the time? Let's have a look quick. Two o'clock. So um, yeah, let's go left, let's look for a camp. Just looking for anything tonight again like last night. Um, no real rush. So we can try to kind of plan what we're going to be doing when we go left onto Shark Bay Road. So let's go. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you've got to call the Shark Bay Council to gain a permit for this camp, and I think there's another three camps up here. You can stay for 24 hours, um, but you can't move from this uh, Gawler Bluff to another camp, or so you can only stay 24 hours within those four camps. So you've got to pick one. Yeah, so I'm going to jump on the phone, see if we can obtain a permit, and then hopefully we can get one, and we can um, stay for the night. Yeah, we've we, we've arrived here and um, we're the only ones here and we know we're told to phone for a permit, um, so that's why I'm calling. Yeah, but look, there's no one here, so, you know, it's a bit confusing. You can call tomorrow and book a permit from tomorrow onwards, but there are no permits available tonight. You will have to pack up and leave as you can't camp here tonight. Yeah, so, yeah. No, no worries, yeah. Okay, so you say I must call before 10.30 tomorrow morning? So you can only phone on the day for the permit on the day? Right. So you, I couldn't book a permit for tomorrow now and then so I can book myself a permit. Yep. Yeah, that's understandable. Yep. Righto. Cool. Alright. I will be calling you before 10 o'clock tomorrow. We've got to go. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Well, that's a pity. <laughs> we got to go. 
great spot, but um, we will leave and go try and find something else down the road. I believe there's another, we passed sort of a free, the free camp, it's called the Telstra Tower free camp, and um, we're going to have to go backwards now, about a half an hour, I think it is. And then, come back tomorrow. and then hopefully we can come back and get the same, same site. But, you know, there's no one here. With only ones here, it's, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon. So she said that, um, you know, people might arrive later on this evening. But, you know, like I, like I was saying, I fully, I fully understand the permit thing. But, you know, it's because one permit goes for all four camps. If people have booked permits, they could all be at one camp and these camps could all stand empty. But anyway, it is what it is. You can't moan about it. I'll um, I'll get us going. We'll go back tonight. Hopefully, if, you know, just park up for the evening, and then we'll we'll try and wake up tomorrow morning early and um, give them a call and try and see if we can get the same spot. You know what I do love? What? Is a little bit of free real estate. Yes. And that's what we found tonight. Yeah, almost missed it. How can you miss that? It's by the big Telstra Tower, I think. I'm not sure the, the name of this um, it's camera. It's called the Telstra I think it's Tower. Called the, but I'll put it up on the screen anyway. Um, yeah, and we've nabbed ourselves a little spotty in the back, which is pretty cool. Hey, look at this. Hang know. I'll come over. Just trying to do the slow camera work yeah, here, you know? you don't want to make our viewers dizzy. Slow camera work, so back, here. Look at this. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, and I see it's a bit of firewood line around, so I'm going to grab my chainsaw. We're not going to have a fire tonight. I thought we have run out of firewood, so stuff like that, that someone's had a fire there, I'm just going to nip that up with a chainsaw and just stick it in the back of our van so we got some firewood on board if we get to a place where we can at least have a fire. So one tip. You're, yeah. The oh, yeah. are next level. I, I, and <laughs> you do have views of the bay. So we're yeah. sort of on the east. I think this is like the east side of um, Shark Bay, Coral Bay. Um, so that way would be like Exmouth Broom, I would think. And um, if you do park through there, yeah. you'll actually have a view of the bay. But I can tell you the flies are not great. So anyway, <laughs> let's go and have a little look, walk around. Let's have a look, see what's going on here. Look at you. Sporting the latest in Navigator. It's a wood buddy. I don't wear Prada, but I wear Navigator wood what, buddy. What do you got on your head? What do you mean? On your, on your, face, on your head. Oh, I've got a fly net, mate. There are so many flies. Pretty right. handy, thanks for getting them. That's all we managed to get. That's perfect. This wood is so hard. Yeah, it is, eh? Look at this beautiful sunset. So we just lay that baby out. Yes. And then you can pass the camera and do all the hard work. All right. Oh yeah. Good job, love. The wood collector. I'm gonna overdo it. We'll have to do two trips, I reckon, and then unload, and then come back. I reckon. Come back for a second. Yeah. I think that's perfect. That'll do a nice fire tomorrow. Oh. This. Yeah, come back. That's the most wood I've seen with you in a long time. Yes. yes. <laughs> that's a lot of wood, lab. Yeah, well. Look at this. I mean, that is a handy tool. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh. And off he goes. Okay. Good morning, guys. Quick little overnight here. Got some firewood last night. I edited and got into bed early. That sun, look at it. Just the sun sets the sunrise. And I've just looked at the weather. For the next sort of five to six days, if that doesn't change... It is absolutely amazing. Hardly any wind all day, every day. So we've got to make hay while the sun shines. So let's jump in and let's even uh, nab ourselves a good spot at this camp. All right, so we've actually been a bit more prepared this morning and we've called up the council. Nine o'clock sharp, she said before 10.30. 
and we've actually managed to get a permit. So a we last know permit. It's the last permit and we called it nine. Jeez. So yeah, I don't know, people must be like on the lines at nine AM. Um and yeah, I hope because it's early we get a good spot. So do I. So and the weather looks that good. I'm gonna be getting the boat off and I'll <laughs> I'm thinking about going out for a fish and then when you've finished work we can go out as well. Ooh. And then that you know if we get a good spot, we can use that firewood that we, we chopped up tonight. Yeah. So we've been told by some travellers and some people around that it starts getting better when we head north of Cal Bowery. Well, I can kind of agree with that. Check this out. <laughs> yes, Blues, have a go at this. And I checked the weather report as well, and the weather report, if it stays like this today, huh, we are gonna have an absolute awesome 24 hours yet. And it is super hard coming in. So what I did is I parked up around that bend, and I walked the section, and my, my tires are not even down. And check it out, what a spot. So, Hey, how's this? I got a mouthful of seeds. How's this? Oh wow, uh, can't beat this. Hey, well the only problem is because our upright fridge is cacked itself, we don't have any bait. So I'm hoping that this afternoon we unhitch and get the drop the um, unhitch and drop the tinny off just over there in the in the drink and. Um, Looks like it's pretty seaweedy, so I'm hoping that we can snag a couple of squid for some bait. Now there goes a tinny out there, don't know where he's gone from, but wow. Can't say no to this weather. You just can't. So, getting the boat up, and Ooh. I gotta say, this beach launch is fantastic. You look at that, tinny comes straight off the top into the water and um but essentially well, Derek go you're gonna get on that boat yeah. you're gonna head up there which is a cracker day Ooh. and what are you targeting we're gonna target squid to start Ooh. hopefully because there's a bit of seaweed around you here we go baby what are we sitting in 1.7 meters of water Check this out. There's Ken. And I'm heading over to some seaweed here. 1.8 meters. Now, they don't call this shark bay for nothing, I suppose. So, I'm pretty eager to see some small sharks swimming around, but. Right, here we go. Squid jig on. Not deep here, 1.3 meters of water. But let's have a little look, see. Oh. No luck yet. Come a bit further out. Still a good day to be on the boat. Find different colour lures. I've got a fair few of them. If you don't know, I do like to um, collect lures for some reason. Oh, two hours out here. Zero donut. But it's not a good time out here. But I'm not going to put the boat away just yet. I think I might have enough fuel. Uh, it is now going two o'clock. I came out at mid uh, midday. Sue's only got an hour left of work. 
I'm starving, so I'm gonna go back to camp. Camp's just over here. There's water. Yeah. Camp's just there. So I'm just gonna puddle along, stop there, get something to eat as well, have a rethink of what I'm doing. And um, we'll come out when Sue's done with work, put a little, little arvo sesh, I reckon. This is not a good sport for you, oh, mate. What is that? Watch out, I'm bringing it over. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's got bloody big teeth. I'm not going to lie to you there. Oh, Bobby. Oh, oh this man. dog just wants that fish. So bad. Man, he's got big teeth. Oh, wow. Hang on. Alright, he's gone. He's gone, bro. Oh, oh, we've got something on the loose. Alright, Flash. Calm down. It's not Calm what I was down. chasing, but anyway. First bit of action I've gotten 24 hours. Oh. I hate to say that I don't think Bob is going to be a boat dog. Guys, just a quick one. This is actually not sand. It's small little shells. Check it out. All right, guys. That's it for um, wherever we are. Where we? Call it bluff, I think it's called. 15 bucks a night. Remember to phone and get your permit on the day for the night. So we're packed up, boats are ready on, and that wind's just been constant all day. It's not a drama because it's actually quite nice. The flies, I think it's a change of direction of the wind. Whew. But anyway, ready to rumble. Hard, hard guys, honestly. Like I know conditions could change all the time. But plenty of room, it's gonna go up and out. Um, the road in was a bit corrugated, but yeah, check it out. It's how close. Just a reminder. What a spot. Where's well, Sue? What did you think? Beautiful spot. Definitely worth a stay. Oh? Huh? Yep. I'd, I'd do it again. Three good camps in this episode, guys. Really, really enjoyed them. Um, making our way to Denham now, so that's it for this episode. So if you want to come join us next week when we explore Denham. Mankamia and the National Park, I think it's called Francis National Park or something. Hit that uh, subscribe button, notification bell, that way you can follow us weekly. And we got a midweek special, a um, midweek episode coming Wednesday. So you guys, from myself, Sue Bobby, you guys have a fantastic week, and we'll catch you next week. See ya! Woo!